Hi friends. I hope you watched the ocean yoga video that I posted yesterday. Um, they had some really good moves and we're going to show them to you so that you can do them at home. It's a great time to relax, get our body calm and any other time where we want to stretch and feel good. These are some great moves um, to try and they're all about animals that live in the ocean. All right. So the first one we're going to do and that they did in the video too was the turtle. All right. So first you're going to sit on your bottom. You're going to have your spine straight. Your spine is in the so sit back. Up straight. Okay, so sit right up straight. You're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna touch the bottom of your feet together. So Natalie's knees are bent and the bottom of her feet are together, the soles of her feet. She's going to take her right arm and put it under her right knee. Then she's gonna take her left arm and put it under her left knee. And then her hands are gonna come down, touch her toes, and put her head down on her feet. Now when she does that, her back curves, just like the shell on our turtle. So we really look like a turtle. Nice job. We're gonna to count to 10 when we're in that pose. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Nice job, slowly come out of it. And inhale, meaning take a deep breath. Smell our flower and breathe out. Exhale, blow that candle out. Nice job, I hope you're doing these with us too. If not, join along, because our next one is a super fun one. It is the crab pose. All right, so we're gonna sit on our bottom. Our legs are going to be bent. We're gonna put our hands down next to our hips and then inhale, meaning take a deep breath in, push our hips up, lift our hips, looking up to the sky. Look like a and we're gonna to count to five in this pose. One, two, three, four, five. Good, now Natalie's gonna to try to walk one way and then come back and walk the other, keeping her hips up, just like a crab, okay? And then you're going to relax, exhale out, and you can try it again. Nice job. All right, this one, next one lives under the water. It is a, you guessed it, a shark. This one, for this yoga pose, we're gonna lay on our belly, and we're gonna put our arms on the side of our body, and our palms are gonna be facing up. Okay, so the bottom of our hand's gonna be facing to the ceiling. Good, you're gonna look up. She's gonna lift her head, lift her chest up off the ground. Now she's gonna take her hands and clasp them together and make a fin, it's just okay, like our shark fin. Natalie made a fin with her body. And she's going to take a deep breath in and hold that pose for five seconds. Count with me, one, two, Three, four, five, and now exhale. Slowly bring her hands down. Great job. Okay, our last pose is the sea star pose. Remember, when we learned about ocean animals earlier in the year, we found out that some people still call it a starfish, but scientists have told us, no, 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 it's not a fish. We're giving it a new name of sea star. So you can let your parents know that as a fun little fact about an ocean animal. All right, with the sea star, we're going to, this is a great relaxing one. If you're getting, um, feeling like your body's out of control and very wild, this is a perfect one to do, maybe right before bed. So Natalie's going to lay on her back and her arms, lay down. Her arms are gonna be open at the top, above her head, just like a sea star shape. There's her arms and her feet are gonna open just like a sea star too. All right, she's going to move her hands down to her belly and put them on top of her belly. And we're gonna really focus on our deep breathing and our belly breaths. This is really good. Remember when we're solving problems and we're trying to take that calm down step, 
putting our hands on our belly and taking deep breaths. So try to get your belly to go up and down as you're breathing. Take a big inhale and then exhale. Once you inhale, you can put your hands there and then when you outhale, then and next time you can see how far you go if you touch your hands again. Really good, deep breathing for working on that starfish. You can even close your eyes and really relax and take some big breaths. Work on some calming strategies. These are great to do if you're needing um, some help in your calm down corner at home. You can put some pictures of different animals on there to help your body calm down. If you want any more yoga moves, let us know and we'll be glad to help. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye. Bye.